I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 44. Today we're going to talk about conditional formatting. What I want to do today is walk through a big picture of what is conditional formatting, how does it work, show you a whole bunch of examples. And then in future videos, stay tuned, we'll go through each of the options and explain how things work and how you can set uh, formatting like this up on uh, your own spreadsheets. Conditional formatting essentially says, given a condition or a criteria that you set, how do I want to format the cell? You can uh, format the cell's color or the text within the cell's color. See how these are both purple uh, text in a purple background. Uh, you can format things like, if I drag over here and we do some recalculations, as this uh, cell changes and it's within uh, a given time frame, we can make the shading change, we can make it go to italics, we can do lots of different things there. We can um, make different colors in different columns. If, uh, um, if we get a 5, we make it green. If we get a 1, we can make it red. There's all kinds of different criteria you can set to do those. And then the formatting is not just um, cell colors and fonts and things like that. You can do icons like this that are standalone without any numbers in the cell. You can just at a glance say, all right, that's good, that's bad kind of thing, and this is halfway. Or you can put uh, the icons in the cell. Like uh, Dr. Gibbs sent us 82 patients in 2010 versus 30 in 2009. Man, that's fantastic. We're up 52. We're down 31. Things like this. And then the beauty of conditional formatting is when the data changes, so does the formatting. So you can see at a glance uh, exactly what you want to see. Numbers that are too high, numbers that are too low, numbers that are in a given range, out of a given, given range. You can shade things like this. So you've got a separate color scale for each procedure to say, all right, you know, I'm doing a lot of these and, and not so many of those. Or, you know, I'm doing a lot of the green ones, less of the red ones. You can do that. Or you can do um, on this advanced tab all kinds of things where you can track. Here what I'm tracking is prostate cancer risk, risk factors. Anybody with T3 or greater disease is in trouble, so that's bad. And then we can flag and count how many risk factors they have. This guy has two red flags. This guy only has one. This guy doesn't have any. And we can set all kinds of criteria behind this and format cells accordingly. Now, if you've only got you know five or ten cells uh, that you're looking at, conditional formatting may not be critical. But when you've got a ton of data and you want to see things at a glance, particularly data that's moving every month you go in or every day you go in, it's very helpful to be able to focus right in on what you want to, and conditional formatting is the way to do it. The last thing I'm going to show you is where it is on the menu, and then uh, we'll pick up on the menu next time. Conditional formatting is right here on the Home tab, and if you click on it, here are the different types of rules we're going to review. Highlight cells, greater than, less than, between, equal, all kinds of different ways to look at the cell and then highlight it. You can pick the top or the bottom, your top 10 items or your top 10%, same for the bottom things that are above average, things that are below average, and more rules after that. And then here are more icon-based things, the data bars thing where we can shade things that are bigger or smaller, color scales, we can uh, control those, red, yellow, and green are different colors that we want to do. And then there's a whole bunch of icon sets all programmed in that you can use to conditionally format your data. Here's where the rules are, and when you, we uh, come back next time, we'll start on those rules and explain how it all works. Thanks for watching.